Lake of the Woods is one of my favorite lakes in the state and in the country to fish. I just, I love it. The 15-mile trek across Long Point to Big Traverse Bay is one Bob Brought has taken in this 1974 glass par at least 10 times before. To him, the world-class walleye are always worth the six-hour drive up north. But on July 31st, after a big catch on what Bob swore was the last voyage on the old boat, the jaunt back to the resort turned rocky. We were at the mercy of that lake and the wind and the drift. Fortunately, he was joined for the first time by his cousin, Gary Susie from Nebraska, when- It happened fast. Within a, a couple of minutes, uh, the boat capsized. The bilge pump failed and rogue six foot waves took over. I did not run through my checklist and, and make sure that that bilge pump was in proper uh, working order. They threw on their life jackets. I was in disbelief and, and angry more than anything at myself. And cleaved to the glass bar. By that time, both of our phones were saturated because they had been, you know, they were uh, submerged. About six hours later, they made it to the shore of uninhabited Big Island, where they were stranded for two days. The most uncomfortable part was the two hours of dawn and the two hours of dusk when the mosquitoes were just ravenous. There, they built a lean, lit a fire, and survived on berries, crayfish, and boiled lake water as they longed for one of the 75 boaters that passed in the distance to spot them. We had a, a big fire going uh, and some flags, uh, but we were just out of eye shot for them. Then, on August 2nd... I prayed pretty much the whole time I was there that, uh, that we, we would be rescued. Bob's prayer was answered. My shirt and I was going like this, and then Gary had a, his shirt too, and we were just waving. Two Mounties, Jeff Prevet and Stacy Morton, took notice as they patrolled the Minnesota-Ontario border. I can't think of a, another time when I was so happy to see another human being. Back on the mainland, even with second-degree burns to his foot, Bob considers himself blessed. To me, uh, personally, it was a uh, exercise in uh, spiritual awareness and, and growth. And hopes to spare all boaters the lesson that nearly cost him his life. If you take uh, those safety precautions for granted, you can get yourself in trouble real quick. And that's what happened to us. So.